Hi, my name is Liz. I'm a paramedic intern at Pro-EMS in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and I'm going to be performing a cardiac assessment on my patient, Robert. I start off with inspection. As I look at him, I look for inappropriate diaphoresis. I check around his mouth for central cyanosis and around his eyes for xanthoma. Along his neck, just above his clavicle, can you lean your head a little? I look for JVP. Following down his torso, I look for differential cyanosis. I also look for major scars or pacemakers. On his hands, I check his fingernail beds for peripheral cyanosis, splinter hemorrhaging, and clubbed fingers. I check his palms for Osler nodes, Janeway lesions, and any other external stigmata of endocarditis. On the backs of his hands, I check for tendon xanthoma. On his distal extremities, I can check for pedal edema. I can also check for ascites in his belly. Sit forward, please. And for sacral edema as well. My next step is palpation. I find his fifth intercostal along the midclavicular line. Can you lean forward and to the left? And I feel for his apex beat. While I'm here, I also feel for a heave. You can sit back. I check his main vessels for thrills. I check both of his radial pulses to see if I have a delay. And I also check for a radial femoral delay. While I'm touching him, I'm also checking for skin temperature. The last step is auscultation. I listen at the PMI, which is the same place we felt that apex beat earlier. Sit forward and to the left. I'm listening for S1 and S2. I also listen for S3 and S4, which represent as a galloping rhythm. Sit back. I also check the valves. Aortic. Pulmonic. Tricuspid. I also check his carotid pulse for brewery. And that concludes my cardiac assessment.